This story takes place one time I thought I was alone at home with my daughter. It was a Saturday and my husband had gone out with a friend. I was home with my six-year-old daughter. We live in a pretty safe neighborhood, in a big town, so I didn't think I'd ever have an experience like this. Like I said, it was a Saturday, so I was having a pretty good day at home, relaxing and doing some light cleaning. My daughter was playing in her room and I was sitting in the living room reading a book when I had the sudden urge to go check on my daughter. I put my book down on the couch beside me and I got up and walked toward my daughter's room. I peeked and I could hear her mumbling away some playful script she had going with her dolls. I walked in and saw she was on the ground, laying on her belly, playing with a few dolls and stuff. I gently asked her if she needed anything, and she still got startled, even though I had practically whispered. She got up and walked out towards the kitchen towards me. We decided to make some lunch to go picnic outside in our backyard. On our way out with our picnic lunch, I had another guy feeling to go check on the front door, just in case I thought to myself. As I walked towards the front door, I saw a woman and a little girl walking up to our driveway. I watched them come up to our porch and sit on our porch swing. I smirked to myself and gently shook my head in disbelief. I had no idea who this woman or little girl was. I kept a watchful eye on them, made sure the door was locked, and ran to get my daughter inside. I made sure to close the sliding doors to the backyard too. I told my daughter to finish her lunch in the kitchen and that I'd only take a minute. I walked back to the front door, where the woman and child were now walking around. I opened the door slowly and just crack. I asked the woman if she needed anything or if I could help her. The young woman turned around and introduced herself as the little girl's babysitter. She then stated that they were out on a walk and that she recognized our house as where her friend lives. I looked at the girl and I tried really hard to recognize her, but I had no idea who she was and more importantly where she knew my daughter from since she was homeschooled and didn't really do anywhere but the public park on the weekends. We'd never had any playdates over at our home or any friends over. My heart began beating faster with the awkward confusing situation at hand. I explained that they must have had the wrong house. But then the babysitter proceeded to ask for my daughter by name. That's when I freaked out. I told them it wasn't a good time and to maybe come back in the evening. I was hoping to have them figure out they had the wrong home, although they knew my daughter's name. I asked the nanny if I could do anything else for them. She nodded her head no, and so I politely asked them to please leave and come back another time. I was about to shut the door when the woman stepped towards the door and placed her hand on it, slightly pushing it open. She tried looking into the home around me and asked if the girl could only say hi to my daughter. I pushed the door almost closed as I kept telling her it wasn't a good time. I then managed to shut and lock up the door. The woman looked agitated for a second, then turned towards the little girl and grabbed her hand and walked away. I went to sit with my daughter as I called my husband. I apologized for bothering him while he was out but told him what had happened and explained that I wasn't feeling good about the situation at all. He told me to calm down and that he would come back home. Just as I hung up the phone, I saw the woman over our backyard fence and she was walking in a different direction she had gone already, minutes before. 
I watched her from inside the house and followed her with my eyes until I couldn't see her anymore. A few seconds later, I saw a dark brown van drive sluggishly by that I'd never seen before as well. I had a bad feeling and just knew the woman and van were somehow linked. I went to the front door once again to make sure it was locked and then I noticed my daughter's sidewalk chalk bucket was on the front lawn. I realized that's how they probably learned her name. The bucket was facing out towards the street and her name was written across it in very big letters. After my husband came home, he suggested we report what had happened. We called the non-emergency dispatch service and reported the incident, and I gave the woman's description, along with the brown van. Nothing came of it, and I never saw the woman or little girl she had again, coincidentally the creepy van never drove by either. One night I was home alone and after spending all day playing video games and not having eaten anything, I decided to order some food. I settled with some Chinese food, ordered it, and now it was time to wait. Since the food would be a good 30 to 40 minutes, I was going to get comfortable and shower meanwhile the food was delivered. I must have showered at record speed because when I was finished, I checked my food delivery's progress and the food hadn't even been picked up yet. I sighed with hunger and went into the kitchen to find something to snack on. I found a bag of chips from a week or two ago and sat on my couch with the bag on my lap and turned the TV on. About 20 minutes later, I hear my phone ringing. I get up and check and see it's from an unknown number. I generally don't answer these calls, so I let it ring and miss the call purposely. I check on my food and see it had just been picked up and would arrive in 15 minutes or so. I bring my phone with me to the couch and keep watching a movie. As I sat down, the phone starts ringing from an unknown number again. I get annoyed and close my phone and watch TV. About 10 minutes later, I hear a knock on my door. I assume it's the food and start getting up. As I walk to the front door, I hear another knock, harder this time. I don't answer, but I use my peephole to check who's knocking. I see a black hood over someone's head and couldn't see their face. They start knocking again, then it turned into pounding, then to shaking and wiggling the doorknob. I step back, because I'm pretty sure this isn't my food delivery. I check the app and see the delivery driver is two blocks away. I called their number, but they didn't answer. I see on the map that they're almost here and I call again. They answered and I quickly told them someone was outside and that it wasn't me. I told them to keep driving and to not bring the food until I told them it was okay. The driver seemed a bit annoyed but agreed to park off to the side and wait. I walked back to my front door and checked the porch through the peephole. I saw no one was there anymore and I called the delivery driver to confirm. They drove past and saw my porch with no one standing on it. They hurriedly brought my food and I quickly grabbed it from outside and locked everything back up. I made sure the driver safely drove away. By then I was so shaken up from someone trying to come inside my home that I forced myself to eat the very food that almost made me open the door to an intruder.